Welcome back to MTD CNC. Would you believe that we are at DMG Mori today here in Iga, Japan at a 578,000 square foot overall facility and standing inside, as you can see behind me, the Global Solution Center, which is 3,500 square meters. Imagine that. And I think I just said a minute ago, square feet for the 578,000. Let me fix that by saying meters. 578,000 square meters, and we're currently 3,500 square meters in this facility. With that being said, let's talk about some of the technology that's around here with my friend Korea son. Yeah? Yes. Let's talk technology. And you have some very cool stuff here, yes. right? So first, let's talk a little bit about the filter system that yes. you guys have and how it's unique and adapts to the side of machines. Uh, so the, what we call the new mist corrector, zero fog. Yeah. And this is a very nice uh, filtration ability and a very compact design. Uh, so uh, uh, the compact is... Uh, Compact and easy maintenance is a customer benefit, I think. Yeah, I'm tired of climbing on top of the machines too, <laughs> yes. right? So this is easy maintenance from the side, yes. the same effectiveness as you've always known. But with that being said, let's just not talk about it. Let's be about it. So follow me right over here. I'm going to press, look, normally red means don't touch. But in this case, red means let's see the facility, yes. 3,500 square meters of technology. And as we talk about this technology, now let's move into the really cool coolant tank system you have yes. that removes the chips, which help with automation. Uh, so uh, we have the uh, coolant system, a coolant tank system. Uh, so we call it the zero sludge coolant tank system. Uh, the coolant system has a filtration ability and uh, additional current pump. Uh, it's a very nice concept for customers. Yeah, I agree. And just to kind of elaborate on that a little bit, how many of you, when you look at your coolant tank right now, have a buildup of chips that you have to clean out somewhat regularly, right? So if you're working on automation and you're gonna leave for the weekend or even for the night, we might not recognize how many chips are in our tank. And if we come in in the morning and our coolant is actually not spraying on the part because there's a majority of chips in there, that becomes an issue. So it's constantly focusing on automation here at DMG Mori. Yeah. And before we walk any further, let's take a quick look at this beautiful machine. Yeah. Is this even possible, my friend? Look at the size of this tool right here. Yes. We can actually machine with this small, rigid, reliable box and this long tool. Yep. And we don't even have to remove this piece anymore, yeah. do we? Yes. This is an all-inclusive machine, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's very important for customer because uh, no uh, machine downtime and so on. Yeah. yeah, machine downtime, we do not want to have any parts of that. So as we're walking around this facility, there are so many things to look at, right? But we want to talk about another piece of technology. Now, so when we think about horizontal machining, it really is that chip evacuation that falls down. But what happens with that chip evacuation is sometimes they start to grow in the bottom, yeah, right? Yeah. But you have fixed that. How have you fixed that chip issue? Uh, for the uh, fixing the issue, uh, we add the AI chip removal system. This is our new technique. And this uh, technique has a nozzle on the top of the machine, and uh, the machine has an AI system. So uh, AI system can detect the chip accumulation and consider the best way to remove the chipping. Yeah, I mean, that's, I've never seen that before, honestly. We do a lot of these tours, but I've never seen that aspect where AI actually understands that there's a buildup of chips yeah. and will automatically remove. So if you notice something that keeps repeating itself here, it's the ability to automate in a factory, no matter what we're talking about. There's carts that move around moving tooling and parts. There's this coolant system. There's the air filtration system. There's this evacuation of chips. And with that being said, even though DMG Mori is doing so much on their own, look at all of these partners. You guys really value partners as well, don't you? Partners are very important to you? Yes, of course. Uh, because uh, partners apply to us, uh, fixing and tool, measuring system, uh, tool holder, and so on. Uh, if uh, we don't have these items, we cannot supply the good technology for the customer. 
Yeah, I agree. And there's a whole lot of my friends in here as well. <laughs> I know a lot of these guys. We work with a lot of them as well. So I know you're a very busy guy. We're enjoying the little tour. And the audience that's watching right now, I would love to show you everything in this 3,500 square meter facility, but I'm not allowed. I want to. I get to see the behind the scenes, but we can't show everything as much as I would like to. So let's close this thing out when we're talking about additive machining and how we're doing 3D printing and the different concepts of how DMG Mori mm. is doing more additive manufacturing these days to help the audience. Yeah, so uh, we have two techniques for additive manufacturing. One is a powder nozzle and one is a powder bed system. So uh, we supply both systems for all customers for additive manufacturing. And there's a big value being placed, I think, on additive manufacturing because it allows us to do some things that maybe we've not been able to do before. You know, there's some areas of some parts on the inside that just cannot be reached by anything other than additive manufacturing. So DMG Mori's technology allows us to do many materials, if not all materials, yeah. and the ability to start going quicker. There's ad adaptations to the nozzles, making sure that what we're working on for the future is actually being done right here, right now at DMG Mori, right? Yes, sir. We, we support uh, the uh, global customer uh, by our added manufacturing technology. Yeah, yeah, and being a global leader in yes. that. So for those of you watching, I wish this was longer. You probably wish this was longer too, but this is the end of the tour again. Wow, are we talking about the future, talking about now, talking about technology and support? My friend, thank you so much for being here. You are amazing, and thank you all for watching. We definitely appreciate you. Thank you very much.